This is One Day From Sapporo and my name is James. Today I'm going to be introducing you to some delicious food that you can enjoy here in Sapporo. Let's go and take a look. One of the great things about Sapporo is that everywhere you see uh, these yellow stickers on the floor here. These are for the blind so that they're able to understand where they are. Those buildings over there, uh, they belong to Suskino, the entertainment district of Sapporo. I've spent quite a few hours in this area. This is the Suskino Crossroads, where a lot of people come here to enjoy their nights. Never fails to amaze me how beautiful that is. When you see it at night, it's even more beautiful. So it's always nice to go to a revolving sushi restaurant, but it's even nicer when you get to sit at a counter in a proper sushi restaurant and get to have a good conversation with the master. Well, here we go. This is the restaurant, Hijiri. Let's go and take a look. So there's a list of everything that's on offer here on those wooden boards there. And it's quite reasonable here. I expect it to be much more expensive, but uh, no, it's very reasonable. Wow, so fast at making them. It's so smooth, the cut of the knife. That's the interesting thing when you come here, depending on what time of year it is, uh, you're greeted with different types of fish. Uh, the interesting thing about uh, living in Japan is that you get to know a lot of different names of fish and to be honest more than half of those I don't know what the English names are I think I know more Japanese names of fish than English oh wow wow just take a look at that I mean that looks really interesting it almost looks like brain now the first time I saw this yeah, I was a little bit shocked. I thought, oh my God, that, that's gonna taste a little strange, but actually really, really delicious. Itadakimasu. Thank you. Sugoku creamy, isn't it? Mmm, that's so creamy. It's like cream, just like cream. Oh, wow. Buri. Right. Buri. Buri in English. Mm. Yellowfin? No. <laughs> I can't remember. Let's look it up. Buri. What's Buri? Buri. English. I was right. Yellowtail. Yellowtail. Okay. So this is the yellowtail. Okay, so we have an interesting mix here. On the right, you've got yellowtail. And then next to that, you have the fatty part of the tuna which really melts in your mouth and then you've got a couple of shellfish here this is a scallop on the end here they look fantastic and the way the light just glistens on the top fantastic when you eat sushi it's better to have the fish at the bottom mm. that yellowtail was like the fatty tuna Otoro is a really, really fatty tuna, and Chutoro is, is quite fatty, but that was amazing. So here's a shellfish called Hoki in Japanese. That's really soft as well. It's got a very mild crunch to it. And the last one, the scallop. Let's try this. That's fantastic. There's more. Mm, this is good in this season, yes. Very seasonable fish. This is the squid. Delicious. Delicious. Just the right amount of wasabi as well. That's a really good combination with the squid. Mm. And there's more. Okay. Mackerel and sori okay so you like king salmon here and you got a nice little bit of mackerel next to sori very popular fish here in hokkaido actually in japan 
think first of all I'm gonna have a bit of the gaddy though the gaddy is this just here made out of ginger I usually want to have sushi I mean I often go to the uh, revolving sushi bars and uh, there's a few of them that melt in your mouth but everything here seems to melt in your mouth it's so delicious Wow look at that so on top that's Sancho Sancho, Sancho yes Wow and the great thing about coming to a place like this is it's not just your dinner this is an experience amazing everything that goes on behind making your dinner and you can view everything right in front of you so if you're in Sapporo I really recommend coming to a place like this this is just amazing where you can see the food being prepared right in front of you so you know just how fresh it is it's so delicious but there's also that experience of seeing the master chef at work definitely recommend a visit you see it's getting brighter now all the neon lights are turned on around this time and it turns into a completely different atmosphere that's quite an unusual sight one you don't see very often a ferris wheel on top of a building that's the ferris wheel in the center of Sapporo here look at the lights of the city they're so colorful so we're making our way now to Tanuki Koji which is a little shopping street in the center of Sapporo it's covered as well so if it's raining or snowing you can still enjoy your shopping there's also a large number of bars and restaurants there as well so there's all kinds of things you can do to enjoy your time so that over there is uh, Tanuki Koji stretching for seven blocks well the covered area is seven blocks it goes on a little bit further outside as well let's head in here for a bit wow so you can see it's very bright very colorful here so there are a lot of these omiyage shops as well so if you need to get souvenirs for your friends back home uh, it's a great place to get everything you need another thing that's very popular is uh, cosmetics um, and there are so many drugstores down here that a lot of people come just for cosmetics it has a real kind of uh, old feel about it so behind me uh, that, that's all of the kind of new shops and that but the seventh block as you can see it looks a little bit different it's got almost a kind of antique feel about it we're gonna head to one of my favorite little bars um, it's called Kalahana and they serve some great beers from around the world and also beers from Japan as well they're all craft beers they also have cider as well the food there is fantastic I like to come here as often as possible and it's a great place just to unwind and meet the locals so Daisuke what do you recommend today? Okay. IPA IPA my favorite do you recommend a half or a pint? <laughs> so one of the great things about this place is when you sit at the counter here uh, you get to meet the locals and so far every time I've come here, here over the I don't know how many years I've been coming here about 10 years there's always nice people sitting nearby I've never had some terrible customer sit here everyone is really friendly another great thing about this place is that every time you come here the menu will be different so there's a menu on the wall there and Daisuke will be able to give you lots of good advice about what you should be drinking thank you happy new year cheers yep. cheers thank you <laughs> ah fantastic <laughs> Daisuke is also very very nice he'll listen to any questions that you have 
And he speaks perfect English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you very much. Wow, look at that. <laughs> You're really lucky. You get to eat this every day. <laughs> every day. No? Its perfect companion, of course, is the beer. Mm. Okay, let's see what we can find in Tanuki Koji now. Now, just over here, there's a little friend that I would like to introduce you to. Now, he's very famous here in Sapporo and especially in Tanuki Koji. Here he is. Now, he's a little tanuki like a Japanese raccoon dog. And this is a kind of shrine right here in the center of Tanuki Koji. And just here, we have Omikuji. So this is the fortunes. I'm going to have to have my fortune read. Here we go. This is going to be a super lucky one. Oh, Shokichi. Nice. A little luck. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, so we are now on our way to a, a ramen restaurant. I really, really love ramen. And there's a chain of ramen restaurants here in Sapporo. Um, and they serve some really great ramen. So let's go there now. Now, often after having a drink in England, I would have a nice juicy kebab. Now, here in Japan, it's quite common to have a nice bowl of hot ramen. So. Let's finish this evening off with a delicious bowl of Yamaokaya ramen. So this is ramen Yamaokaya. Now this place is really, really popular and a great way of ending your night. So we're going to pop in now and enjoy a nice bowl of hot steaming ramen. Let's go. So one great thing about the menu here is that they have it written in English and Japanese, which is really helpful. Sometimes it's, it's difficult to find menus with English as well, but Yamaokia have very kindly put everything into English too. So you don't need to worry. Okay, when you get to the machine here, you've got a button here you can press for English. Let's go for special miso. Okay, special miso. <laughs> My ramen is here. Now, one of the great things about ramen in Japan is that you can slurp as much as you like. Remember when your mom always told you not to make a noise when you slurp your spaghetti? Well, when it's ramen here in Japan, you can make as much noise as you like. And it actually seems to taste better as well. Okay, let's have a look at this. Itadakimasu. What a great way to end the night. Yeah, that's a taste I know and love very well. You know, this is a special miso. I, re I recommend trying many different things on the menu. Everything tastes very different. When I came to Japan, I missed kebabs. After a, after a drink or two, nice juicy kebab, but now, I think uh, ramen is much better. Look at these wonderful thick slices of nori here as well. This is thick seaweed slices. Mm. I think usually nori is a lot thinner. You got these nori sheets. But this is really thick. Oh, well that's that. That was an amazing bowl of ramen. Once you've enjoyed a great night out with some great people, great drinks, great way to finish it off is with a nice bowl of delicious ramen. Definitely recommend it if you come to Sapporo, which is famous for its ramen. That was delicious. So if you come to Sapporo, there are many great things to see and do. 
but I definitely recommend coming here to Tanuki Koji. If you get a chance to walk from the first block to the seventh, or the seventh to the first, and that way you can see everything that this wonderful shopping arcade has to offer. I hope you have a good time when you come here.